last week, the producers asked me if I'd be willing to talk a little bit about a very special lady in my life whose relationship I keep very close to my heart. One of my best buddies in the whole wide world, maybe my best, my dog, Nala. Nala. All right, let's go do it. Come on. <laughs> my best friend, Nala, come. Good girl. We also have Nala join us via Nala Cam. Hi, girl. Is it true you start to look like your pet? I think it's true. I will never be as good looking as Nala. You all know my dad is the host of this show. When you go home at the end of the day, the unconditional love, it, it's unequal. But to me, he's been my best friend since he rescued me from the shelter 17 years ago. Nala, what are your thoughts? I've known him before he was a doctor. And we've been through it all, like questionable haircuts. And sometimes I even help him with his job. Now we have a, a flavored toothpaste, and okay. so they tend to like it. He has always looked after me. Hey, you want some bad day? Thanks for making a little house call for Nala. I think she likes having the vet come see her. And he takes me on the best adventures all the time. Nala. Good girl. We both love the outside, and he is always there. He's the best friend a dog could ever have. I, wow. I, I, I hadn't seen that. Um, Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so the producer asked if I'd be just willing to talk about because Nala is, you know, she's nearing the end. And I and I am not gonna go, I'm not gonna have her funeral, you know, until she passes, but wow, that whew. that was a great celebration right yeah. there. You know, and that and preparing yourself both for the end, and Drew, you went through this with Lulu, and and yet not having their funeral until it comes. Yeah. It's it's a it is a bit of an emotional it was a roller coaster. Because Lulu was sort of, although she wasn't in great great health, it came subtly. I mean, mm. you know that it's, it's creeping up. Well, can, so can, I, can I tell you what I love about what I'm seeing right here, right now, Travis, is, is I see you smiling and I see you looking at all of those amazing, beautiful memories. And, and one of the things, whether your dog, whether Nala's here or when she passes is, I, I just want to ask you a question. What is your favorite memory of Nala? Honestly, her, She's the most gentle, kind thing I've ever come across in my life. She, she is literally who I wish everyone could be. She's such a wonderful living creature. And so it's not so much just about my attachment with her. I just think of all the people's lives she's touched because yeah. in the 17 years I've had her, it's been through every single experience, yeah. medical school, residency, and, and, all, and so many people who she just, She's just so sweet. It melts my freaking heart. Well, and, and you gotta keep that, right? So a, a lot, what I recommend is, is you always keep that alive, you know? It, it's so funny to me that we honor human beings. We have to remember that when we have a funeral for a human being, that's not just for the, our loved ones who passed, that's for us. That's for the people who live on so we can have those conversations, so we can keep pictures of our, of our, of our deceased loved ones, whether they're animal or human beings, keep those around, you know? And I think the takeaway is that, you know, r r rainstorms always give way to, to rainbows and, and, and hope, and, and that love that Nala gave you, that will always be there. And always. so many great memories that will always be there. Well, I'm, I'm, I will say this, I, literally appreciate every single day that she has left, but I'm also glad that you said to keep memories alive because I just had a bunch of pictures framed and I, I was asking myself this question, is this a smart move or not? Because yes. do I want these around after she's gone? You and do. it sounds like the answer is yes. So yes. To little Nala out there, love you girl. And also an RIP to Lulu who, it's about a year, it was a year ago that, that she passed and, and look at Lulu. Oh, my. oh we You know, all. she was like a family member. The kids grew up with her. The kids picked her out uh, <laughs> when, when, we, when we got her. She was on the show a number of times. It, it, it really is like Pets losing are the best. a family member. Pets are the best.